All right, with that, let's go ahead and jump in. <clears throat> That's a few past the hour. So we have a uh, triage of CDI issues. 28, 28 is the first one. So let's open that one up and take a look. All right, so wait for first consumer Seth lane is slower than the immediate binding lane. And this was submitted by Alex. Do you want to give us some additional context, Alex? Hey, so uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. So <clears throat> I introduced the uh, wait for first consumer lane a couple of weeks ago, and I started uh, fixing uh, the tests up so we don't get any failures. So the lane can be a required one. And during testing, I noticed that the runtime for this new lane is uh, significantly longer than the um, just regular Ceph lane. Mm -hmm. So for for the most part, I guess it's expected because we make uh, a dummy pod, first consumer pod on the wait for first consumer lane. So that should account for about 30 minute difference. But I was seeing a lot more. I was seeing uh, more than an hour difference between the lanes and I I didn't have ideas about what could cause it. Like running locally, it seemed uh, pretty much the same. Maybe there's some uh, some ideas in this forum, but anyway, that's uh, the gist of it is that the runtime was really longer than uh, in the immediate binding lane. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this underscores the desire to be able to kind of profile um, our components to see where they're spending the time. Um, we kind of have, I guess, Michael's working on another performance related uh, issue. So, um, might be useful there too as well. Um, anyone else have any thoughts or ideas, things to try? All right, so it seems like we've got a, a good one here. Uh, it's probably gonna take a little time for us to dig into over time. Oops, and I closed that. Let's pop back up and go to the next one. Um, so, DV smart clone is stuck when a pod is using the old PVC. Okay. I'm trying to understand this one. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know if anyone knows about it. Okay. It, since, I don't know, my assumption is that since they put the, the source PVC is read right in any, they assume that uh, you, you know, I, I think, you know, we assume we don't want anyone to use it because we don't want it to be changing while we mm -hmm. are copying. Um, yeah. Uh, And I guess when they say smart clone, that could be a misnomer because this is, oh, I guess this is RBD. So if the storage class is supporting, I guess I'm wondering how they're doing the snapshot, but they should be able to take a snapshot, right? Yeah, I mean, we can definitely, you know, with this, with our Ceph RBD, it's, you know, not as bad as with the uh, dumb clone, but um, yeah, I mean, maybe with, if we're doing a smart clone, we can allow the source to be in use, but. I, okay, I see Alexander jumped in and uh, mentioned that we won't do the clone, but um, he could use a snapshot. Um. So let's just see where we go down. I'm going to see where this resolved to reopened. Uh, snapshot, PVC, blah, blah, blah.
Okay. So, um, I was just going to say, is there uh, anything else needed for this issue? I feel like Alexander may have already like addressed it. Um, yeah, it's true that there are no guarantees, but also <laughs> if you want to be real, like, you know, it's totally possible that we check that the source isn't in use, start the operation and then it becomes in use and you know <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so yeah there are really no uh even even though we're attempting to do something the fact is we really can't keep uh can't guarantee any consistency mm -hmm. yep uh i'm just gonna say hopefully we can achieve uh, I'm just going to do this for now. Um, and I don't think there's much else that we can uh, can do. All right, uh, let's go up to 500 error during DV import on a GCP environment. So uh, there's two very similar issues. One of them is related to um, to this cryo change from a couple of weeks ago, last meeting. I believe this is the one. And I'm not sure on the CDI side if we can do much more. We, we have docs about um about using uh, block pvcs as non root mm -hmm. and we have communicated this on the issue so i think uh this is just about the uh, reporter still uh not getting a new openshift build or kubernetes whatever they're using is there something we could do to at least um clearly articulate what the problem is and then like link to information about it like i think well i don't know is an error five maybe error 500 is appropriate in this case because it's like legitimately an error in the server instead of i just wonder yeah the yeah. upload code has uh has the permission denied errors in there okay that's how mm -hmm. that's how we uh derived the cause mm -hmm. and here you can see the comment and we have a nice document about this mm, okay so it, it should just resolve itself once the kubernetes or openshift builds have the cryo pr trickle down okay so all right uh, so it seems yeah. we just need to keep this open until we feel like um until we feel like things have merged. <clears throat> right? Or is there do, do we have everything like upstream to where we can close it based on related PRs? Uh yeah, I, I think so. I think we can close it, but no, I don't want to uh discourage the issue author mm -hmm. okay i think the i think probably the best bet would be is like once we can supply specific versions that everything is in if that's not the case i didn't see if that those details were provided i see this pr it's approved but not merged oh wait it is merged yeah i don't know any suggestions I think that, you know, it's not, we, at some point we want to move to close this. We should just figure out what exactly we want to put in here before we can do that. Maybe we could just ping, uh, ping the author. 
Yeah. Um, and it's it was K Simon, right? Is the K Simon one? Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Data volume import is failing. Is this the same? No, this is a different one. And uh, there's a uh, few chats about this. Mm, not sure what's the cause here, but essentially they're just importing from registry and uh, just to get an unexpected uh, the file there writing the data. Mm -hmm. So I've, tr I've tried a couple of suggestions. For one, their image was looking real weird to me. Like usually these uh, container disk images, they're just a directory called disk and an uh, image file inside of it. But mm -hmm. in this case, there was a lot of garbage uh, in there. Okay. So maybe it's like a new use case or something you could see in the picture below. There's like a boot and dev uh, folder, which is mm. just weird for this type of, uh, yeah, just a yeah. weird setup. Yeah. The images are created the same method as in the past. They can't be. Yeah, the, the, if it's created the same way, as uh, the Docker file here, there should not be a boot folder. We should just see if they if they uh, encounter this issue with one of our other container disks. Yep, like the official yeah. ones. And I don't have the specific link to that, but um, maybe if someone can help me find that, so I can add it. <clears throat> I think this is a good one to try. This is uh, the official ones we maintain under the Kubert org. Okay, you've got one in the chat for me. Yep. Okay, where do I grab that? Uh, let's see. Where is the chat button on Zoom? Is it under more here now? Let's see, yep, more chats. Thanks. Let me choose at the bottom. Like I didn't even have you click on the more. Okay. I think maybe with the sharing screen, it's uh, compacted or something. Yeah, <clears throat> it is possible. Okay, if so, or... Um... Okay. All right. Yeah, if it works with the other ones, then <clears throat> there's probably some sort of strange issue. Like we don't know if they're using, um, like which which uh, tool they're using, like to build the images. If they're using Builda or Docker or anything either. So. Okay. Um. Next we have, or this is the last one. Copy default instance type and preference labels from volume snapshot from Lee. Yeah, this was something that came up uh, as he was um, adding support to the PVC source. Um, I don't think it's a big deal now because um, data import crons aren't doing snapshot sources um, by default, I don't think. Um, they sh well, and like eventually they will be, right? Yeah, so I think he's just going to do it in another PR. 
basically okay. out of here we're supporting it for PVC sources. Okay. All right, so what do we need to do for the issue? Anything? I don't think so. I think it's just there to remind Lee to do the, add the snapshot support. Okay, sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna pop back out of here. We've gone through all the issues. Um, I guess this is the last call to see if anyone has any agenda items or open floor topics. If not, it'll be a shorter meeting for today. So going once, twice, and I'm happy to give back the rest of the time for you guys. Thanks everybody to, uh, for joining today and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.